All right, so <clears throat> I just pressed record on here because I don't really know any other way to start this video. I know to the world, it might sound very strange. It might sound very weird. It's more than likely going to be misunderstood, but I'm still going to do a video about what I want to talk about because... There's nowhere else to go and vent this stuff. There's just, I don't know people in my personal life to vent this stuff. I just don't. And I'm very strange uh, about how I go about doing things in my life. And I'm, I'm going to start with, I finally have some privacy here. The people that I'm staying with, they went uh, to because I don't add, I don't put anybody in my videos. I don't say who they are, their names, but they went to the store for a while. So I finally have some privacy to actually, you know, spew my guts out here. <clears throat> and it shouldn't be that way, but it is that way with me. I should be able to say what I need to say, but it's. It just won't be understood. So that's why I keep this to myself. And then I get on here and I do these videos. But I first want to start out with. If I'm being absolutely brutally honest. I am an introvert. That has. Huge problems with other people. I just do not gel with other people. I, I don't, for one, I don't trust people. For two, and I know this sounds strange, but I really think that I might have some form of autism or something. I don't look like it. I don't act like it. And if I'm being real, I know this is going to sound, and I will say why I'm like this, but really, I only like myself. I only like and enjoy my own company. And I know people would say, oh, well, no wonder why you're lonely and why you're depressed and why you're going through all these things you're going through. But it's so much deeper than that. It's like I get this feeling it's so hard to describe to an average mind, or I don't want to say average mind, because then it seems like I'm comparing. It's so hard to say to, to someone that, I, I don't know what kind of person I want to say here, but to a person, I just get this feeling of like being disgusted. Like today, it just came over me. I just feel disgusted with the situation I'm in, where I'm at right now. I'm not disgusted with myself. I'm disgusted with my, my situation, my, my living situation, because I'm someone, even though I love my family and I love the people that I know, I have to be by myself. I have to have my own place. I have to have somewhere. I don't mind doing something for a little bit of time. But when that's over and done, like if I take someone to an appointment or something because they don't have a ride, okay, that's cool. And when I drop them off, I'm like, okay, now I got to go be on my own. I need my privacy. I need to be by myself. And I always been like this. I've always been like this. And see, the reason I'm doing this video is because I used to always say there was something wrong with me. There's nothing wrong. There's nothing wrong with me. This is just how I am. It's just how I am. Now, when I say that I only like me and I only like my company because I'm an introvert, I only know what I want to do. And other people cannot do what I'm doing for me. So 
Therefore, see, they might take it as an insult or get offended. See, this is even what people closest to me do because they don't understand me. They do not understand me. And I tried explaining myself so many times to people and they just cannot get it. They will not accept how I am as a person. They, they can't do it. They can't do it. And now I know that people can't do it. So it's like, okay, well, instead of me going through this crap all the time, it's just better if I'm by myself most of the time. It's just better. It, it, it's just, I can clear my mind when I'm alone. When, when I'm not around other people's nonsense and bull crap, I can think better. I, I just, I, I think of doing things. It's like, and see, this is what it's like when I say about people's ego. When you say what you need to say for yourself and they don't approve of it or they don't live like that or they don't think that way or they don't understand, they're going to think you're coming at their ego or, or coming at them, uh, you're offending them or hurting them or something. And it has nothing to do with that. And the reason why I'm being so, I'm not being sarcastic, I'm being dead ass for real right now because I don't know where else to vent this shit because there comes a time where I have to just vent by myself. I have to be by myself to vent because I know no matter what I say, other people and the way they think the way they do things, the way that they see the world, the way that they got to live their lifestyle, they will not get me. Like if I say, look, I need to be by myself, then I need to be by myself. That's just how I am. I'm, I'm too brutally honest with myself and other people can not handle brutal honesty. They cannot handle it. They cannot handle it. <laughs> And then I got to make myself look like a nutball to the world. I got to make myself look like I'm out of my mind and I'm crazy and I'm a lunatic or I'm uh, just being selfish or narcissistic and I'm just being, uh, you know, you're, you're just so involved with yourself. Well, yeah, because I'm me. I'm me. I have to be involved with myself. And it's it's like I can only take care of me. No one's going to pick me up. Out, out of the bed. No one's going to get me up off my ass to go over to this place every day that I got to go to to wean off of this bullshit that I'm on. Nobody's going to do that for me. And nobody's going to uh, do anything to get me a place or anything either. So I know that I'm going to have to do some things that I don't want to do, but I need to do to get me a spot of my own. And it, it, I know a lot of things suck and I hate it, but it's just what I have to do. Even though I hate it, got to do it if I, if I want to survive and live. I mean, yeah, I could always do something else, you know, and we all know what that is, but I personally don't want to do that. I don't want to think things that I think, but listen, and this video is not about this video is not about the opinions or views or anything. It is just, I'm coming on here and I don't even know why I'm doing this video. I, I don't even, it, it isn't even a why factor. I'm just doing it because I literally cannot talk with anybody about this stuff. I, I, I can't. And even if someone's like, well, you can talk to me about it. No, I, I can't. I can't because I'm going to say something eventually that is going to be misunderstood or it's not going to relate. It's going to be like, listen, here's here's the point that I got to. And wherever this channel, wherever I'm going, wherever this is all heading, I don't know. And I personally don't care anymore. I, I just don't care anymore. I care about certain things in my life but I just don't care about this certain thing. But if I'm being honest, it's my way or no way at all. 
It has to be my way. And then people will say, oh, yeah, because you're a narcissist. You're selfish. You're so self-indulged that you can't see other people's problems. No, I went through, I already went through my own rude awakening in this life. And I seen this world for what it really was. And I'm still, I still have that in my mind. That doesn't go away. I can't just get the men in black uh, vaporizer thing and click it to a date and go, and just zoom off, you know, 10, 15 years ago. I can't do that. It's, it's in here and it's always going to be in here. But a lot of the stuff in here is, it's completely irrelevant to me anymore. I'm not interested in so many things anymore. There's only very few things that I am interested in anymore. And if I'm being honest again, I'm only interested in what I need to do for myself. It doesn't make me selfish. It doesn't make that there's something wrong with me because I don't want to socialize and, and uh, you know, have this small talk conversation every day because what does it do? What does it do? It's It's not productive. It's not doing anything to build upon or plant something like I've been saying. And the reason I'm in this situation that I'm in and I feel... I feel horrible about it. I feel ashamed. I feel disgusted. I I hate the situation I'm in because I have been doing these maintenance drugs for so long that my brain is so used to that, that now that I'm getting off this stuff, it's just, my mind is just going haywire and, and I'm, see, I had to give up my, quote, uh, strength of living for myself because when you're coming off of this stuff, you're withdrawing. And I had to abandon the place, abandon the place that I was living at by myself. I had to leave the place where I was by myself and I had to come somewhere else because that's just what I needed to do because I, I couldn't go to work feeling like crap. And anyone who has gone through withdrawal from any of these things or tapered off of them, which I'm doing right now, you know that it's not fun. It's not pretty. It sucks. And I hate it. I hate it. If I could scream, I hate it. That's how much I hate it. And I know I might seem a certain way, but this is just how I am. It's like, when I need to be brutally honest, I'm going to be brutally honest, but I learned that sometimes I have to hold my tongue. I have to just keep it to myself because I know I'm just going to be wasting my breath and I'm just going to be speaking into the air. And that's what I'm doing now. So it it, it doesn't really matter. You see what I'm saying? I'm, I'm speaking into the air right now. So what what is, you know what I mean? It doesn't really matter. It's like, just get over it. But the thing I'm I'm going for to get across here is that when you are someone going through this, nobody's going to understand what you're personally going through because you're the only one going through it. Like I'm the only one going through this. And I know people probably don't care. I know some people out there might think this way or that way or that way over there. I, I, I don't know. I don't know how people think. I just know how I think for myself. And I'm just to the point where I've, I've changed. I will never be the same person that I was even yesterday or the day before. I'm always, it's not that I'm changing or I'm seeing things completely different. It's just, it's almost like I'm preparing for my dissolvement, like I'm dissolving away, like I'm preparing for something that nobody else is preparing for, if that makes sense. Now that could be my own, that could be my own delusion, that could be my own thought, that could be my own thinking, but yet I'm only in my own head. And I know I have, uh, I have, what you call it, I have 
intrusive thoughts that come. And it's stuff like, why am I thinking this? Like, what? why am I thinking this dumbass thought right now? Like, people, places, and things, and other th stuff will come into my mind, and it's like, I don't want to think this, and I know that it's not real, but yet I'm disgusted by it. It's like, why am I thinking this stupid shit? And it's intermingled with all kinds of just all kinds of stuff. I can't, I can't even explain it to you. And I know some of that is tapering off of this poison, but I had to get on the poison at one time. You see, it, it's, it's a contradiction that very few people will understand. Like if you're a person that says, look, I'm not in the mood right now. Most people will have something to say instead of saying, okay, you're not in a mood understood. Or, uh, I need to be left alone. Okay. See ya. Or, uh, right now I'm very uncomfortable and this is not whatever. Okay. Well, what's going on? Do you, do you want to talk about it or whatever? See, nobody responds the way that I would need them to respond for me, if that makes sense. And therefore, every time it's always what I'm, I'm, I'm expecting, I'm, I'm expecting something that I know is not going to be said, but it's like, it's, it's just so uncomfortable. It's so agitating. It's so kind of infuriating when your whole life, like nothing goes the way that you think that I think it, it should go for myself. It's just everything is the opposite. Everything is going against the grain of how I really want to live and how I really want to be and the things that I really want to be around. And if I'm being honest, I just don't know how to be around other people. I, I, I really don't if I'm being honest. It, it isn't, listen, I don't hate people, but I don't like people because I, I just don't gel with what they, how they live, the things they do, the things they talk about, the way they interact. And, and this is why I said I might have some form of something that I'm just very different from other people and I can't help that. I could never help this. My whole life I've been a vagabond. I've been going from one place to the next and then another place, and another place, and another place, and this is why I have a big, huge problem with being attached to anything, because I know that it's not going to last, and even it, with anything, it doesn't matter if it's, you know, quote, friends, which I don't have any friends, and if I'm being honest, I don't, I, I don't want friends, I I just look for things that can help me in life and it can help another person for themselves. See, it isn't like a, it isn't like a thing where it's so hard to explain what I'm going for to explain. I can't explain it in words what I mean. It's like, I'm going to stay in my lane. This person stay in their lane. I'm going to do what I'm doing. They're going to do what they're doing. When I say something that I don't want to be, they can respect that. When they say something to me that they don't want to be, I can respect that. But yet it doesn't mean that I'm obligated to stick around or I'm obligated to be a part of whatever someone else is being a part of if I don't want to be a part of it. Because I'm a rebel. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a vagabond. I'm somebody I can't. I have trouble staying in one place around other people. But when I'm by myself, I can stay in a place for a while. Because I'm basking in my own energy. I'm basking in the way that I want and need things done. I'm basking in how I see the world. I'm basking in how I want to make music and art and how I want to write and how I want to make my room and how I want to do this. Yeah, it's an I, 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 me, me, me thing. And it might sound very selfish, but that's why when I say I am, 
it's like most people don't understand that concept. They have no idea what I'm saying when I say I am that I am. They don't understand that because they're so used to the labels. They're so used to the, the programmed way of thinking, the conditioned way of thinking. Just because everybody else is smiling, they think they have to smile. Just because everybody else is saying good morning, you got to say good morning. You know, if I'm not having a good morning, I'm not going to say good morning to a person. I'm just not going to do that. And I even hear people, I hear so many people, they will say good morning to somebody and then they'll sit down and they'll be pissed off about everything. And I'm like, this person's fake. They are fake. They, they are lying to themselves. They're a liar. They're deceiving themselves. They're telling themselves all kinds of shit and they're creating, they're creating their own drama. They're creating this, this play. They're play acting for people. I'm not play acting for people anymore. And this is why I can't see most social settings are play acting. Most socializing is putting on for other people. Oh, hi. How you doing? Oh, I'm good. How's the family? Oh, they're fine. Bullshit. Right away, my radar goes up. And when I'm listening to this, I'm like, this is a lie. This is, this is a lie. You're lying to me. And then I get, I get irritated because that person's lying. And then I go, you know what? I'm not even going to tell them about their, about their bull crap. I'm just, walking away. I'm fight or flight. I'm fleeing. I'm going. And see, this is why when I'm in my own refuge, when I'm in my own abode, when it's my way, because I know what's best. I know what's best for me. I know what's best for the lifestyle. I know that I need to live until the day I die. I know what's best. And see, most people, they might be in a fear bubble to say this for themselves, but I, I think I'm speaking for a lot of people. But still, the camp that they may reside in, I'm not going to reside in that camp. I can only reside in my own camp. And if it's almost like I'm saying to the world, if it's not my way, if it's not the way that I see things. I'm not a cult leader. I'm not a violent guy. I don't force people to do things. But it's like, it, it's an example. Say somebody, say you live with, say it's like a, a, a younger person living with their parents. And they say, this is my house, my rules. That's how it is with me. Wherever I live, it's what I say goes. I am in charge of this place. If you go to the bathroom and you piss on a seat, I'm going to say, get your ass in the bathroom and wipe the piss off of the seat and clean it up. They might hate me for saying it, but it's the truth. I'm not trying to sit on a pissy seat. And, and this is, this is what I go through with so many people with these little things they do because they're not disciplined. They have no structure or discipline. They, they have no wellness for themselves. You know, yeah, you might hate the world. I hate the world too. But still, we still got to be responsible. We still have to own up to all of the bullshit, all of the things going on in our lives. And until you and I own up to that, then it's going to be, it's going to be lies. It's going to be drama. It's going to be putting on for the world because this is this is just how it is. And then I have to be kind of a target. I kind of have to be the uh the monkey clapping the symbol going like not that I'm stupid, but it's I have to be the outcast. I have to be the guy to say this stuff and then, you know, even some of the world will listen and They'll know I'm telling the truth, but then they'll go right back to all the bull crap. But, but listen, this is not a video of me. It might seem like I'm judging people. It's just how it is for me as a person. And listen, 
I'm just being brutally honest. If I, I don't care about all these, these labels and stuff on these outlets. It is just a way to, of, of expression. You know, if, if people do not like something, then they don't like it. If they like it, they like it. It's like, I'm not here to judge what other people do. I'm just saying how I am as a person. And if people in the world cannot accept that, I can't do anything about it. I can't do anything about that. I'm powerless over that stuff. And it's like in saying this, I'm going through this other thing and it's just now that I'm getting, uh, now that I'm kind of cleaning myself up, so to speak, you know, cleaning myself up, whatever that means. Does that mean getting a shower? Does that mean getting a, a wash rag with a little soap? Does that mean splashing my face with water? Does that mean getting a bird bath? You know, it's like, see, it's only the label in someone's head that they will think for themselves that they will judge you upon. And, and that's just how it is. But it, it, it's like, look, and when you are being real, here's another thing. Real people lose train of thought, just like I did, because I'm just speaking, I'm just speaking, and I'm letting it be known how I really feel and how I really see things. And this ain't even about how I feel. This is about how I am. This is just how I am. And I'm not worried anymore if people accept me or don't accept me. I'm, I'm not worried about that anymore. I might have days where I feel a little bit lonely. Like I feel like I might want to have some sex with a woman and I might want to feel on a woman. And, you know, I might want to fuck her if I'm being honest. Excuse my French. But it's like I have a problem with getting attached to people. I can't stay attached to anybody because my whole life I have been put in a, this is just a deck of cards I've been dealt. Ever since a kid, I had to go from a place to another place and then back to that place. And then when I started getting into my older years, I wanted to go to everybody's house because I just didn't fit in anywhere. I, 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 I actually had a love for people at that time. I, I wanted to get to know people. I loved going place to place and place and just figuring people out and like getting to know them and, and acting crazy because I used to be completely different, but I'm not that way anymore. The, the way that people might remember me, I want them to remember that part of me. But I'm not that way anymore. Some things I sort of am the way that I used to be. But a lot of ways, I'm not what I used to be. So in that, I, I don't even know, like, th this is a video that sounds probably so out of left field. It sounds so weird. But now that I'm cleaning up, Whatever the hell that means. Because I, I don't go by this by this stuff like, Oh, I got 90 days sober. I'm doing better than everybody else. I'm 90 days sober. Like, for me, I it's it don't matter if I have a day or a hundred years. You know, I'm being sarcastic. But it's just, um, these things just don't mean anything to me. They, they have no interest. They, they, it doesn't hold any weight to me anymore. When I look around, it's something like Tommy Lee Jones said in Sunset Limited. I'm kind of just seeing shapes and figures and things moving. It's like, yeah, I might judge time to time and I might say, oh, this person's nerve wracking or, oh, I, I like that thing, which is very seldom anymore, if I'm being honest again. And I keep saying if I'm being honest because it, it, it's just because I can't tell a lie. I'm someone that I cannot lie to myself and I can't lie for anybody else. And there's people... There's actually people that have already told me to lie about 
the, the how the truth is for me or to lie about how I am or how I think or what I do. I said, are you kidding me? Lie. I'm going to lie to myself and other people. And this is the reason that I may be incorrect. I may be incorrect. I'm not saying that I'm perfect, but this is the reason that people are scared of me. This is the reason that I probably terrify some people. I I probably scare people off because I'm just too damn real. I'm too deep of a person and I'm too real. I'm too in the abyss of realness for people to be around my real energy. And, and that scares people, that terrifies people, that offends people, that gets people pissed off, that makes people hate me for no apparent reason just because I'm that way. And then I have to live with that shit. I have to live with that. And yeah, I keep it to myself sometimes because I'm not a perfect guy. I don't know what other people think. I don't know what their upbringing was. I don't know what they might believe in. I don't know what, how they see the world or the things going on in their head. I have no idea because they won't tell you these things. So I don't know. And, and then when I'm spewing my guts out, I'm doing it because I have to do it. And I'm saying, damn, I'm like the only one here doing this. And then I say, holy shit, this is lonely. This, this is very, this, this can be very lonely if I'm being honest, but it's not a lonely that people might think it's a truthful lonely. It, it's a, I, I like my privacy. I like being by myself a lot of the times, but there are times where I do like to interact with things, but I don't like interacting with stupid shit. I don't like interacting with unnecessary drama. I don't like interacting with people that are creating their own bull crap and then they act as though they didn't do that, but they did. And then when you tell them about it, they just get pissed off at you. So you know what I said the other day and I was talking to somebody I know. I said, I am done giving any helpful quote advice because I don't believe in advice. I don't believe in trying. I don't believe in lying. I believe only in what is for real and what is brutally honest with myself. That's all I believe in. I don't believe in nothing else. But I said, I am done. If something helps me, I'm not even telling anybody about it because it's a waste of breath. They don't care. They don't want to hear they don't want to know what will help them in this life. And when you say something that is completely, that will just destroy some shit just to be spiteful about it. That's the shit that people want to hear though. Like I understand that the world is a cruel place. The world is chaos. People are dying every day. And whether you and I want to admit this to ourselves, the saying ignorance is bliss, bliss most of the time is ignorance. Because when you eat a fat, juicy burger from McDonald's, oh, it's so good. I'm so happy. Let's get a happy meal. But guess what? What nobody thinks of is a sentient creature, a cow, a pig, a whatever had to get slaughtered and murdered for you to have that bliss. For you to have your phone. <laughs> some person in Africa is in some, and, and I'm not saying Africa, I'm just using that because there probably are mines there that people are working in to get the littlest tiny elemental thing that you need for your phone so you can scroll on your phone for fucking hours. And you can just say, oh, I hate life. Oh, I'm scrolling on my phone. I hate life. And then yet that person is getting whipped by somebody. Whoosh, more metal. Whoosh, and they're, they're getting their backs whipped open for this little piece of tiny metal. And I'm like, 
what is this? What, what is this? What is this? And then when someone says ignorance is bliss and, and, and they say these ignorant things and I'm just like, I do, I have hatred in me for this now because I see what's really going on that most people, they just don't want to confront. They, that they'll just keep blocking it out and blocking it out. And they don't realize that they are the ones that are causing the very suffering that is going on in this world. And then they complain and they talk about other people that do the same thing that they're doing. And then people like me are hated for it. We're crucified for it because we have compassion. I have compassion. I see the suffering. I've seen it. This is my rude awakening, folks. And I'm not hiding it anymore because I'm done. I'm done. Now, in saying this, this is just one side of me. This is not all of me. I still make music. I still might talk about things that make me happy or joyful with those words. I, I got to watch what I'm saying here because I, I don't like the word happy. I, I just don't like that word. But things that I like, I, there's still things I do that might seem like I'm just another NPC or I'm another idiot in the world. But listen, I know... <laughs> all too well what I'm doing. <laughs> I've looked in the mirror. I, I've looked past the mirror, if I'm being honest. Yet again, I said that again. But anyway, whatever. I've looked in the mirror and there was a time where I knew that I was bullshitting myself. When I look in the mirror now, I can look at myself and I don't feel anything towards myself. I just say, this is me. I am this thing and I will never be anything else but this thing. And you will never be anything else but what you are. Now, it doesn't have nothing to do with me saying it to you. You have to go in the mirror and look at yourself. That's not up to me to do. When you go in that mirror, you got to look at you. And if you don't like something, then that's what you got to reflect on your life about. See, this, this is where I have a big problem is when you tell the world this they somehow, I didn't do this. I didn't create this world. I did not make things the natural way they are. I did not put the pieces into place. I did not cause whatever happened in anyone's life to happen. I didn't do that. See, you are only influenced by what you let influence you. I am not an influence. I do not influence people. Whatever I'm influenced by, I let influence me. I don't need to be influenced by anyone or nothing if I choose not to. So look, I'm, I'm going to end it here more than likely. I don't know if I'm going to keep talking here, but I, I have just come to this place in life where These videos are for brutal, honest venting because I don't have anywhere else to go to do this as of now. And I might not ever. I don't know. And for some reason, I, I, this word reaching out, I'm very suspicious. I'm very standoffish with reaching out to people or places or things because then you have to get involved. And see this word involved. Involved. See, I don't want to get involved with other people's drama or whatever they're doing to themselves or whatever is happening to them because they're doing whatever they're doing. 
I don't want to get involved with that. I'm only involved with myself. I'm only involved with what I know I have to do. And if other people could think like that, then maybe something could develop. You see, maybe something could come about naturally. But until that time, more than likely, I'm not going to, quote, reach out to the world because I already know what it is. I already know more than likely what will happen with a lot of things because I've been there and I've done it. You know, ah, See, when I do that, nobody else would ever do what I do. And this has nothing to do with being selfish. This is just for, and I'm, I'm not saying anybody has to do any of this stuff, but I think if we are not reflecting on ourselves and we are not looking at ourselves in the mirror and we are not being brutally honest with ourselves and we are not willing to say the things we need to say to others and ourselves, then it's going to be a lie. It's going to be the opposite of what is really happening, what is really going on. The things that you know you really are, but you and I are so scared. We're so terrified to tell people or to show it because... For me, I know things that can happen when you do that. I've watched a million documentaries. I've watched a million things on World War II. I've watched a million things on dictators. I've watched a million things on cult leaders. I've watched a million things on Christianity, Islam, all the other spiritual things out here that people talk about. Talk about. I've watched a million videos of UG Krishnamurti, J. Krishnamurti, Osho, Jesus, all the prophets, Buddha. I've watched it all. I've seen it all. So what can, if anything, what can we bring to the table of life that has never been brought before? Because these phones, whether we want to admit it or not, these phones have destroyed us, if we're being honest. Nobody will tell you that either, but I still use a phone though, so I'm a hypocrite. Hypocrite, guilty, I'm contradicting myself, but we know deep down inside, this is why people <laughs> are having so many things happen because there's no genuine interaction anymore. <laughs> It's everybody looking at a phone. Everybody's ignoring everybody. Everybody's lying. Everybody's telling somebody something that they don't even feel. And I'm like, what, what is this? Where am I? Where am I? And then I say, I got to get away. I got to go do my own thing. I got to involve myself in a craft. I have to make music. I have to write. I have to take a long walk. I have to uh, philosophize in my head. I have to relax. I have to sit still. I have to be in silence. I have to just sit here in my solitude. And, and <laughs> when you get to this it's a very strange feeling. I almost feel like such an outsider, but I know that I am way, way, way deep, deep in an abyss on the inside, and I'm looking out. See the song, I'm on the outside, and I'm looking in. No, I'm looking in at all the outside stuff. I'm not on the outside looking in. I am the in. <laughs> I am the out because I've already been those things. 
and I'm seeing it. And it's like, if I'm, this is the last thing I'm going to end this video with. There is no need to, to even seek anymore when you're like this. Because when you look in the mirror, what you say to yourself is, I'm home. You're home. You're home. There, there's nowhere to go. There's nothing to get to. You're not 